Well, we're joined by Betfair Barry ahead of the big game against Stoke City, working hard in the office. Barry, fingers crossed for this weekend from the Claret and Blue point of view. What, what are the general odds? Well, at the moment, the, uh, the betting on Betfair Villa, 29 to 20, it's 2 to 1 Stoke, it's 11 to 5 the draw. So, looks like it's going to be a tight game. That's what the betting suggests, anyway. Uh, Rudy Justad, the man of the moment, he's firing the goals in. Have you got anything for him to score maybe more than 15 this season? We have. We've marked it up for Villa fans um, on our Sportsbook website at the moment. Rudy to score over 15 and a half goals is currently a 7 to 4 chance. Under 15 and a half goals is 2 to 5. We put in the half a goal there to take the draw out of the equation. So it can't be 15 exactly. So if you fancy him to, to continue his good goal scoring record at the moment, like I said, over 15 and a half goals is 7 to 4 chance. And is that for all competitions or just in the Premier League? That's just Premier League football. Yeah, well, Peter Wiz, the last one to get over 20 in the league, which was a long time ago. But he's on the right track at the moment, Rudy. Now, how about a first uh, goal for Veratou, Ayu and, and Adrisa Garner, who came back into the lineup at the weekend? Yeah, Garner's a 14 to 1 chance if you think he'll open the goal scoring against Stoke. He's 5 to 1 to score any time throughout the game. Rudy guess that's currently a 4 to 1 chance. Um, Ashley Westwood currently a 20 to 1 chance, or Jordan IU currently a 6 to 1 chance, 23 to 10 to score at a time. You mentioned Westwood there. How about him to score? And I know Villa have lost a couple of tight games 3 2 recently, and Villa to win 3 2 and Westwood to get a goal. Well, you need to buy a lot of tickets. Villa to win 3 <laughs> 2, and, and Ashley Westwood to score the first goal is currently 275 to 1. So, to put that into context for you, Jack, if you have a tenner on that, you get back 2,760 quid if that comes in. Mm, so that w- that would you, that would be a tidy sum. <laughs> tidy profit for you, all right. Get you a good weekend. Uh, finally, uh, Villa at the moment, uh, below Stoke, just by the two points in the standings. They leapfrogged uh, Villa with their win last weekend. What are the odds on uh, Villa to, to finish above them at the end of the season? So, Villa to, to finish above Stoke in a Premier League match bet. At the moment, Villa fans aren't going to like this. Stoke are 1-5 to five to finish in front of uh, Villa, who are currently 7-2. to two. So, uh, if they get three points on Saturday, that'll go a long way to shift those odds. But at the moment... They're second favourites in that market at 7 to 2. Let's hope we can prove the bookies wrong on, on that one. It does happen from time to time, doesn't it, Barry? It certainly does. If the punters <laughs> won all the time, there'd be no bookies. And if the bookies won all the time, there'd be no punters. <laughs> That's very true. Thanks for joining us. We'll let you get uh, back to it. And hopefully, we'll be talking to you next week on the back of a, of a much needed win. Fingers crossed. Thanks, mate. Brilliant.